ओके सो इन दिस सेशन वी लर्न वॉक साइकिल ओके फ्रंट वॉक साइड वॉक दिस इज लाइक वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट एंड वेन यू आर डूइंग वॉक यू कैन गो विद द फ्रेम बाई फ्रेम एनिमेशन लाइक ग्रो विद डू द ग्रुपिंग एंड यू कैन डू फ्रेम बाई फ्रेम और वन मोर ऑप्शन वेर यू कैन डू द एक फ्रेम बाई फ्रेम ड्रॉइंग्स एंड यू कैन ट्रेस दोज कैरेक्टर्स इफ यू हैव सम डिफरेंट नीट वॉक साइकिल्स or you can do with the twinning so today session you will be learning a smooth walk cycle using twinning okay so i'll take one simple character maybe this is our character so we already done grouping and symbol each part body part and we'll be doing a walk using symbols sorry using classic twin okay so it will be very smooth there is no rule that you have to do walk cycle with the grouping or keyframe or symbol like that it is all depends on your story and depends on your concept you can do walk cycle using just grouping and f5 f6 or you can do like this twinning or you can do use motion what motion guide motion twin anything there is no rules okay so in this session i'll show you using classic twin how you are going to do walk so now each body parts are different here each parts are separated and is like in different different layers we already done like distributed layers you know already all these things distributed layers and because it is a symbol we know why we have to do symbol because of one option is this pivot point once you set the pivot point it will be there every time so because of this and later if you want to do any editing so these symbols are very helpful so we already done this body part separate separate now i'll go for walk so in walk cycle there are lot of books for reference but main important book is animator survival kit from richard williams very nice book 80% of the book talks only about walk so walk cycle walk progress you all those things and today we are doing walk cycle here walk cycle means character will be walking in one position and walk progressive means you can show that he is moving from one point to another point okay now so my topic like we are using only three key frames here step squash and stretch okay just three key frames using twin now okay i'll give you like f5 and i'll give some twin here create classic twin f6 so as i told you first frame is step so okay this character is already in step position like this so next set will be squash so character will come little down we'll have a ground line i'll say view rulers and i'll keep on ground line down and maybe one straight line just to show that character will be walking so when you walk that character won't go front and back it will be just going up and down kind of thing cartoon so in this we will have squash so i'll take whole character and i'll just push him down first and i'll keep this leg in squash position so it will be like this character squash so when this character squashes that back side leg will go little back normally don't worry about back side leg just go on adjusting the front leg automatically back leg will move on with that so no need to worry lot about the back leg when this is part is moving like okay so squash and very important when right leg is front right hand will be back same concept here also so i'll keep this hand little back when he is moving like front same time i'll select that behind hand and see that it is also going little front now just check step squash okay simple after squash we'll have stretch i'll go some more frames later you can adjust the timing like now i am giving some 15 15 frames later you can change so stretch means character will go little up and this leg will be here i'll keep him down okay this leg will go little front like this so this is stretch so you can see that one leg is stretch and hand will be very neatly straight this hand will be straight
okay and you can't see that one more hand so I'll just send that hand the hand later will take it just check exactly where it is okay it is here so that hand will be again straight here behind okay so these are the three keyframes now see so this slow we'll do it later first step squash stretch step squash stretch step squash stretch okay I'll make it fast so we'll take only five five frames so see okay now half walk cycle is done if you check that one leg right left leg had in, left leg has square stretch sorry step squash and stretch left leg is having so we have to do same thing for now this side leg this particular leg so i'll go one more five frames five to six frames here you have six and i'll take this character little down and i'll make step for this particular leg Okay, I'll make it like this. One second. Yeah. So just to match this uh, first drawing of that one more leg. Okay, see first. Okay. Like this. I'll push this up. One second, okay. So, see, like this. There's a small glitch, we can do that later, no problem, but step. So, when you give step, this leg will be back. Okay, or you can have a little smaller step. So from this step okay so when this leg is front so we need this hand has to be go back okay like this and we know there is a behind there is a hand so that hand will come front okay like this see so step squash stretch then for this leg step again so we need now next squash i'll go one more f5 f6 <coughs> and we'll have squash here so i'll keep this leg here Actually, this is a very very easy way to do walk cycle with just three keyframes So this leg will go back. Very important these pivot points. So when you do symbol, see that the pivot points are proper. Squash. Step and squash. Yes. And this hands will be little inside so when there was like okay step it was out so here the hands will come little inside okay and you can do like smooth like you can control like separate parts like this because it's already twin and different groups or if you want to move only this particular part you can move this no problem so to make a smoother work done so squash then last is stretch here so we need to stretch here take whole character and push little up okay so this leg will go here so two times you have to do all the keyframes one for right leg one for left leg
so this leg will go little front and even this okay and again hands will be straight same thing this back hand will go back now we just check okay so squash is little more but this is the basic idea where you can do what cycle we'll remove some key frames and it will be fast okay i'll remove some frames so there's a connective it's a loop like from here you'll come back to this frame from here you'll come back to this frame right so I'll just do some simple okay done see so first frame we are having one leg here it has to match with the last leg just for a loop same and just see after this it is here so we can have little back these legs positions okay same time this will come little front okay so same thing when you come last frame okay done so you have to do little smooth options like this just check it will loop to first frame or not i'll take these frames just checking okay so very 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 smooth walk cycle step squash stretch you learn this once you learn this then you can play with this you know, how to do double bounce walk how to do strut or how to do sneak all those things you can try so here no tension of uh, uh, grouping frame by frame or keyframe things basic step squash stretch that's all so i'll be uh, giving this file also if you want to check now i'll save this file walk okay as i told you before this is like walk cycle where one character will be walking in one same position right now how to make this progressive we already learned in symbols i'll do that maybe i'll take the same frames i'll save that original file so i'll say copy layers i'll take file new i'll take new file and i'll go to insert new symbol graphic walk so we are making a new symbol of walk cycle and i'll just paste all the layers paste layers and come back to scene so that file is there in library it is here where is it it is here so you can take this okay so you know now there are inside 35 frames so we need minimum 35 or more than that i'll take some 100 frames and i'll keep this character here and i'll give tween last frame i'll keep it here i'll zoom little bit so you can have progressive walk like this you have to play with the timings you can make it fast or easy so from walk cycle to walk progressive okay i'll cut down some timing we'll see okay so this is all about walk cycles so now using same technique try to do like this different different walk cycles refer some books or you can walk like you take a video when you walk and just check how body is moving like how body is moving or how legs are moving opposite opposite directions you can have a lot of references using that so try to do two leg walk two leg run and four leg walk four leg run also okay so thank you